Our farmers are graying, like pretty much all of the rest of us. And this graying of the agriculture community is setting the stage for an, an absolute major problem if we don't deal with it head on. This entire series of bills is doing that. It allows farmers to be able to pass on the family farm uh, from one generation to the next with significant tax credits. It encourages uh, younger uh, farmers to want to stay in the industry. You know, our industry is under assault. The agricultural community has been dealing with problems in the dairy side in my county, Lebanon County. Uh, we've been under complete assault because of some of the, uh, the competition that's been coming in internationally uh, that's affected the dairy industry. I think this allows us to push back, and it was something I noticed in my first term when we decided to start pushing back on now. I was a, uh, very honored to be a co-sponsor of most of the bills that were there, all the bills on the House side, uh, and uh, I'm just really honored that we can get this signed in order. It's absolutely historic. It's the first time it's ever been done like this, and I think we have to give a lot of credit to our Majority Leader Brian Cutler, because since he's become the Majority Leader, he's doing a great deal of work in terms of a theme week. Uh, we're doing a series on agriculture. We've done some on Veterans Affairs. We've done some that we're going to be doing the governmental reforms that I'm leading the effort on. So I'm really excited about this, and I think this is step one in a very long step uh, process that we're going to do to get the agriculture community on track and thriving into the 22nd century in Pennsylvania.